trying out my new gimbal today. Let's see what kind of video we can take. Got a little wind going on. Day after the rain. Configure this gimbal out, like I said. All right. Walk down the line here. Pretty WD-45. W9, we're still kind of early, not everybody's here yet. There's a couple more over there, so I'll show you them and then we'll get right to the pulling action. Got the little 240 here to put a hurting on some people. Brought the D15 diesel. Of course, my beast. Look over there. That's a new one. All right. Like I said, not everybody's here yet. Oh, there's my gimbal kind of doing some stuff. I don't know what it's doing, but uh, anyway, not everybody's here yet, so. some more footage and move on to the poles. All right, first hook of the day, 3,500 pound class, Peanut Plus 240 International Utility. This little thing is impressive. Look at that thing. She's shaking her head, that might be a good hook. 70 feet, 9 inches. Here comes Tony on a Super 66. I found a place in the... I found the kit, and I think what's leaking is the linkage, and I found the kit that has that very in the bush. Ah. And um, there's a place in the butte that we go. Yeah, there you go. Lots of snowgrass. Sorry, I have a technical difficulty with my tripod. sandwich from the American Legion over there. Seems like a good hook. Pretty little 
35, not getting the hole to try. I got a feeling that's what the uh, 15 is going to do too. the same distance him and Tony they got a pull off Tony. awesome here comes the 45 there's actually entertainment over here that I should be watching nope well, that just back in pain I'll show you what's going on Eighty feet six inches. The old M didn't want to pull the packer up out of that hill. That's for sure. After Bob, we've got the forty-five. All right, now pack Bob track. Andrews, Matt Hendricks, Tony Manley, Jamie Come around Marshall. to Bob. All right, I, I guess Bob's not going to wait for him to pack it. There's no way I would have pulled on it. He doesn't care. 
about to go up here and whoop them all. Yeah, I don't care about no tiger. Looks like he's done it too. He sure did. I don't care about no damn tiger. Well then. Good hook. One sixteen seven. D fifteen diesel. See how it does. Well, let's see how it does. Looks like he's in high first. I imagine he should have enough power for it. Forty five hundred pound class. A lot of people like them good years, you know? Let's go, let's go, let's go. That ping you heard was it adjusting on the lockers. It hit the stopper. Now that is a good hook. I'm gonna go ahead and say that's a good hook. 125.8 on the D15. First time hooking it. I'm gonna say that wasn't too bad. Here comes Matt on his A. See how the old giant copper goes. To the race as he goes. <laughs> yeah, I'd say you got her to hook today, Matt. <laughs> 172 feet. So we had a little back and forth with, with Tony here on the Oliver 66. And, uh, all in good nature, he's a great guy. And he knows we're just picking on him and everything. And he picks on us just as much. But, uh, anyway, we, we brought that 15 today to try to compete with his 66 and really didn't expect much. And I hate to say it, but it just put a hurting on him, that, that old E15 diesel. 84 feet, seven feet. Seven inches. Tom pulled 126. He got lucky, I know. All right, here comes WG45.
86 feet, 8 inches for the WD-45. Here comes the Super H. He's not kicking a lot up into the boat. That's really good. So Tom was watching where the H spun out the first time and he said he just beat the 15. So we wrote him down his official record of 127. He got second place in the class. That's just terrible for him to pull 86 feet after such a good run. Alright, moving on to 5,000 pounds. He's still in the high side. Didn't seem to struggle much. I'm gonna walk with it. Blistering 1.8 mile an hour. Doesn't have much behind the boat, does he? Listen to that thing. He's gonna <laughs> <laughs> Listen to that thing, look! Who knew? <laughs> Get out of here! <laughs> Listen to that thing! <laughs> I want to get up here to where I was recording so you guys get an idea of where he spun out. So this is where I've been recording and that's where he spun out. We'll get the official distance here in a second. That thing is a beast. Tom's distance was 167. Here comes Matt on this beast. He gets to hold the track like he did last time. He's not going to run out of power. I'll tell you that much. Now I might walk with him too. 70, just beat him. <laughs> All right, here comes Tony on his down. I walked with everybody else in this class. He's also going to blistering 1.8 mile an hour. Got to hold the track. Just crawl in the first. 
just beat us. Good job, Tony. By five foot. <laughs>
He wasn't even going to pull at 6,000. I had to talk him into it. I was like, no, you're signed up for 6,000, man. He didn't want to do it? No. I got to go get on my tractor and pull. Look at it go.
So it might not seem like they're pulling this car, but all the vantage point on the camera. Looking good, it's hooked, it hangs in there. Pulled 159.7 for Matt. Tony Manley, 6500.
7,000. Sorry about the shaking, that's not me, that's the wind. Clock on a farm all W9.
But it was quite a fun time. Um, I think we're going to be pulling this thing a few more times this year for sure because in the light classes I think this will be a real fun tractor. Get a little bigger tire on the back of here. I, uh, I'm i kind of curious to see what it would do with some 16.9s on it on the low side down in them light classes. <laughs> that might hurt some feelings. We'll see what happens. So I'd like to thank everybody for watching. 
like to thank everybody who was at the pool and all the guys who put the pool on. Thanks everybody for watching. Catch you on the next one.